Welding is a male-dominated craft, but 21-year-old Angeline Gasike is out to shift this narrative. Inspired by her father to pursue welding, she is now forging her path in the business in Turkana County, as Noakib Kimboy reports. Angeline and her business partner are almost finishing a client's order of metallic tables used in bakeries. She skillfully handles the corded angle grinder to smoothen the rough metallic surfaces, a craft she has longed to protect for a very long time. It is that passion that drove her to pursue an opportunity for training. Being a lady in a field dominated by men, she says it takes determination to grow. Through her work, she's able to support her family, another factor that drives her. Na, kama naangalia kwa workshop sina kitu fulani nenda na nunua kama sina rods nitaenda ninunue kama sina cutting disc nitaongeza hiyo ingine naweka kwa chakula na school fees pia mama ana fry na nakaa na baba pia hapa hivi ana ni support kenye sina ananisaidia pia niko na brother anasoma mimi na support pia hiyo ako form tu saa hii mm. Her business partner, Jefferson Maraka, says not many ladies pursue welding, with very few showing interest. For now, it's all about business. Kama size watu wako wengi wanajenga. Niko na milango 17, mtu amenipea Nilienda nikamwitia nilienda nikaongea na yeye but ameniambia atanipea nitengeneze. Alafu hii December yenye tunaingia niko na vitanda za body high school double deck 100 120. Tunafaa tumalize by January watoto wako wameanza kutumia shule. Welding is not easy, to be honest. But I'm glad that in a field dominated by men, ladies like Angelina challenging the status quo and introducing a new phase of welding led by women, even training me. Now, Gipkin Boy, KTN News, Kakuma Town. Thank you, Noah, for that. Well, Kenya is set to ratify the 1970 UNESCO Convention that will prohibit the trafficking of cultural artifacts from the country. The move comes as global leaders have